What's going on YouTube? Now this is basically going to be a, a quick uh, tutorial on how to dump uh, games and emulators to the original Xbox. So you take your Xbox, uh, you plug it into your home network via Cat5 cable, uh, network cable. You plug it in, in this case I have it plugged into my little hub which is plugged into my uh, modem upstairs in the bedroom. Uh, so this hub here controls everything in my basement that's plugged in. Once it's plugged in, you'll get an IP address. In this case, it's oh, it's dimming out. Okay, it's a one nine two one six eight one dot one. That's my uh, internal address. I'll go to the computer. I'll Google something uh, called FileZilla. It's a uh, free program. Once you have that, you just I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it clear enough, but you go here to the top and you set up a, a new site, you create a new site uh, you can call it Xbox, you enter the IP address here so 192.168.1.1 leave this as FTP, leave this as uh, use plain FTP over here normal uh, logon type is normal user name is Xbox, password is Xbox you hit connect and you're in there you go, so you'll see all the uh, drive letters, uh, all the partitions on the hard drive. Um, in this case, we want to dump a new emulator called uh, Neo Genesis 25, which I do not have. So, I know my emulators are on my G drive. And there's an emulators folder. So, I'll grab it from over here, from my computer. I'll drag it right into the emulators folder. I dragged it into here, into emulators. It's copying. And you would do the same exact thing if it was a game. So, in this case, while it's doing that, let's go to my games folder. And there you go. So, you got 007 Agent Under Fire, Everything or Nothing. These are the games. They're all in uh, individual folders. And if you go into the folders, you'll see all the files. Alright, so emulator has finished copying. Now, we'll go over to the Xbox, and we'll look for the emulator. In this case, um, I haven't put it in on the, um, in the any file I have to modify, so it wouldn't be under emulators. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think it's going to display here. Nope. So, in this case, I'd have to go to File Explorer. I'll go to my G drive, which is here. Uh, go to emulators and there it goes Neo Genesis and the file that triggers the startup is called default.xbe I'll click on that and there it go, it loads up and there you go Okay, so in this case I only have, uh, I believe it was one game, so I go to select game, I hit the A button, and there you go, Aladdin.zip. If I had a uh, video, it would display there. If I had an image, I believe it displays up there above it. Alright, so let's start it up, see if it works, press A. And there you go. So, it's as simple as that. To dump our videos in there, I found out we'd have to go to... So you open up the uh, folder for the emulator, and there's a media section. There's a media folder, go in there, and then there's a uh, movies section. You go in there, and that's where you dump your movies. The movies will play as a uh, preview, providing they have the same exact name as the ROM. So if the ROM is called Sonic 1, the video has to be called Sonic 1. Um, their uh, documentation and everything online, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I believe there are some text files in here. 
in the root directory, but um, it seems like it's pretty simple. Um, I've got to get my hands on some videos. I know um, there's a video website here called uh, mumovies.com. Um, I believe it's a pay site. I think it's like $20 for a month. And um, you can download everything from uh, Main to Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Genesis, so all of the uh, videos there. So I'm going to look into that, and um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll um, answer the best I can.